Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will represent addition and subtraction of complex numbers geometrically on complex plane. First of all let us discuss addition of complex numbers on complex plane. Now we know that any complex number is written as z is equal to x plus iota y where x y belong to the set of real numbers also x is called the real part and y is called the imaginary part of this complex number also we can represent the complex number x plus iota y as ordered pair x y so on this eigen plane or we can say on this complex plane the point P with coordinates x y represents the complex number x plus iota y where x represents the real part and y represents the imaginary part of the given complex number that is the complex number x plus iota y. Now we will represent addition of two complex numbers on complex plane. Now suppose we have complex number z1 is equal to 3 plus iota and complex number z2 is equal to 1 minus 5 iota. Now we will represent sum of these two complex numbers that is z1 plus z2 on complex plane. First of all let us represent complex number z1 which is equal to 3 plus iota on complex plane. Now for this complex number real part is equal to 3 and imaginary part is equal to 1. So we will move 3 units right and 1 unit up from a region and we reach at this point let this point be P. So we have obtained point P with coordinates 3 1 which represents the complex number z1 which is equal to 3 plus iota. Now join OP. Now we will draw complex number z2 which is equal to 1 minus 5 iota on complex plane. Now here we see that real part of this complex number is 1 and imaginary part is minus 5. So we move 1 unit right and 5 units down and we reach at this point let this point be Q. So we have this point Q with coordinates 1 minus 5 which represents the complex number z2 which is equal to 1 minus 5 iota. Now join OQ. Now let us complete the parallelogram. Now OPRQ is the parallelogram. Now from origin draw the diagonal OR. Now this point R represents the addition of the two complex numbers that is Z1 plus Z2 and here you can see we moved 4 units to the right and 4 units downwards from origin to reach the point R. Thus Point R has coordinates 4 minus 4. So it is complex number 4 plus of minus 4 iota 
that is 4 minus 4 iota. So, that one plus that two is equal to 4 minus 4 iota. Now we can check our answer by actual addition. Now Z1 plus Z2 is equal to 3 plus iota the whole plus of 1 minus 5 iota the whole and this is equal to 3 plus iota plus 1 minus 5 iota. Now combining real and imaginary parts this is equal to 3 plus 1 that is 4 plus iota minus 5 iota that is minus 4 iota. So we have obtained z1 plus z2 is equal to 4 minus 4 iota. Now let us discuss subtraction of complex numbers on complex plane. Now if z1 is equal to x plus iota y then minus z1 is equal to minus of x plus iota y that is equal to minus x minus iota y. Now here you can see in minus z1 the sign of x and y are opposite to the sign of z1. Now to represent minus z1 in complex plane it is drawn in opposite direction of z1 but with same magnitude. Now let us take uh, some complex numbers that is we have z1 is equal to 3 plus iota and z2 is equal to 1 minus 5 iota. Now we have to represent the difference that is z1 minus z2 on the complex plane now we have already drawn Z1 and Z2 on the complex plane. Now to find Z1 minus Z2 we first draw minus Z2 that is equal to minus of 1 minus 5 iota the whole which is equal to minus 1 plus 5 iota on the complex plane. Now real part of this complex number is minus 1 and imaginary part is 5. So we move 1 unit left and 5 units up from origin to reach this point. Let this be point Q dash with coordinates minus 1, 5 which represents the complex number minus z2 which is equal to minus 1 plus 5 iota. Now here you can see that minus z2 is in opposite direction of z2 and of same magnitude. Now let us complete the parallelogram. So we have completed the parallelogram O P R Q dash and draw the diagonal O R. Now this point R represents the subtraction of the two complex numbers that is Z1 minus Z2 and here you can see we have moved two units right and six units up from origin to reach point R. Thus point R has coordinates 2, 6. So it is complex number 2 plus 6 iota. Thus Z1 minus Z2 is equal to 2 plus 6 iota. Now we can check our answer by actual subtraction. Now Z1 minus Z2 is equal to 3 plus iota the whole minus of 1 minus 5 iota the whole which is equal to 3 plus iota minus 1 plus 5 iota. Now combining the real and imaginary parts 
we have 3 minus 1 that is equal to 2 plus iota plus 5 iota that is equal to plus 6 iota. So Z1 minus Z2 is equal to 2 plus 6 iota. So in general if Z1 and Z2 are two complex numbers and the points P and Q represent the two numbers then by completing the parallelogram and joining the diagonal point R will represent complex number Z1 plus Z2 and in difference Z1 minus Z2 minus Z2 is additive inverse of Z2 and points P and Q dash represent complex numbers Z1 and minus Z2 respectively then completing parallelogram and joining the diagonal point R will represent the complex number Z1 minus Z2. So in this session we have discussed how to represent addition and subtraction of complex numbers geometrically on complex plane and this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.